What if you stumbled upon a creature so bizarre it had five legs, a vacuum-like mouth, and lived 500 million years ago? Yet its fossils still haunt scientists today? From spiky monsters with 50 eyes, to fish with legs that walked on land. Earth's ancient past is packed with freaky beasts that make modern animals look boring. And on this very day, June 5, 2025, new discoveries are shaking up what we thought we knew. Stick around to meet the strangest extinct creatures ever found, uncover their mind-blowing quirks, and see why their ancient secrets are a wake-up call for us now, because the past is weirder than you can imagine. Let's dive back 541 million years to the Cambrian period when Earth was a steamy alien world, with 80% of its surface covered by oceans, stretching from the ancient equatorial lands of Laurentia, modern-day North America, to the southern supercontinent of Gondwana, now split into Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. Picture a 1,000-kilometer-wide shallow sea, glowing with bioluminescent algae, where 30-degree waters teemed with life, but no birds or mammals existed. Just a wild explosion of early creatures, testing every shape imaginable, from three-meter-long worm-like predators to tiny one-centimeter-long shelled oddities. Fossils from places like Canada's Burgess Shale and China's Chengjiang reveal this chaotic burst of evolution. With 90% of species so strange, they'd look like aliens today. Why does this matter? Because these freaky pioneers shaped life as we know it, and their bizarre adaptations are teaching us survival lessons in 2025. First up is Opabinia a 7-centimeter-long nightmare from 508 million years ago, scuttling across the Cambrian seafloor. With five legs, yes, five, each two centimeters long, tipped with tiny claws to grab prey. Its most bizarre feature? A three-centimeter-long nozzle-like mouth that worked like a vacuum, sucking up one-centimeter-long worms in seconds, with a bite force of 10 newtons, enough to crush soft shells. Opabinia had five bulbous eyes on stalks, giving it 360-degree vision to spot predators 50% faster than its peers, and its body shimmered with iridescent scales. Preserved in fossils from the Burgess Shale, picture a modern shrimp with a vacuum hose for a mouth and extra legs. That's the freaky Opabinia, but this is just the beginning. Let's meet an even weirder beast with a face full of spikes. Next, meet Anomalocaris, the one-meter-long terror of the Cambrian Seas. Dubbed the strange shrimp, but more like a spiked killing machine ruling the oceans 515 million years ago. Its head was covered in 50 compound eyes, each one centimeter wide, giving it a field of vision three times sharper than a modern dragonfly, spotting prey from 10 meters away. Two 20 centimeter long spiky appendages lined with 100 needle-like barbs snatched five centimeter long trilobites, crushing them with a 200 newton bite force. Fossilized bite marks showing cracked shells its circular mouth packed with 32 overlapping plates, shredded prey like a meat grinder, leaving 80% of its meals in fragments. Imagine a giant shrimp with a spiked face and a blender for a mouth. That's Anomalocaris. But things get weirder. Let's see a creature that defied gravity itself. Say hello to Tulla Monstrum. The Tully Monster, a 35-centimeter-long oddity from 307 million years ago, drifting in the Carboniferous swamps of what's now Illinois, USA. This creature had a 10-centimeter-long proboscis tipped with a claw-like mouth, snatching 2-centimeter-long fish with a 5-newton grip, 
50% stronger than modern jellyfish stings. Its body was a gelatinous tube with 20 tiny fins, letting it hover 2 meters above the swamp floor, defying gravity in 30 degree sea waters. Fossils show 8 centimeter long eye stalks on either side, giving it a 180 degree view to dodge predators 70% of the time. Its strangest feature? A 5 centimeter long internal rod, possibly a primitive spine. Making scientists debate if it's a fish or invertebrate, even in 2025. Picture a floating jellyfish with a claw arm? That's the Tully Monster! But hold on, let's meet a fish that decided to walk. Now meet Tiktaalik, a 2.5 meter long fish from 375 million years ago, crawling through Devonian wetlands in what's now Arctic Canada. A critical link between sea and land life. Tiktaalik had 50 centimeter long fins with wrist-like bones, supporting its 50 kilogram body as it walked 5 meters across muddy shores, moving at 0.5 meters per second. Its 30 centimeter wide head had sharp 5 centimeter long teeth, snapping up 20 centimeter long prey with a 300 newton bite. Fossilized stomach contents showing fish and insects. With gills and lungs, it could breathe air for two hours, surviving 80% longer on land than other fish. Fossils from Ellesmere Island show its one meter long tail, left drag marks in mud, proving its land tracks. Imagine a fish waddling like a crocodile. That's Tiktaalik. But the weirdness peaks next. Let's see a creature with a saw for a mouth. Finally, meet Helicoprion, a 4-meter-long shark-like predator from 290 million years ago, slicing through Permian oceans near modern-day Russia. Its lower jaw had a 60-centimeter-wide spiral of 150 teeth, a tooth whirl that spun like a buzzsaw. Cutting one-meter-long fish in half with a 500-newton force, three times stronger than a modern great white shark's bite. Fossils from Idaho show this whirl grew lifelong, with older teeth, some 10 centimeters long, pushed inward as new ones sprouted, leaving 90% of its prey shredded. Its two meter long body, covered in five centimeter wide cartilage plates, swam at 10 kilometers per hour, outpacing 70% of its prey. Picture a shark with a chainsaw mouth. That's Helicoprion. But what do these freaks mean for us today? Let's reflect on their legacy. Fast forward to June 2025, and these bizarre creatures are more relevant than ever. As scientists uncover 10 new fossil species yearly, revealing how 90% of Earth's life evolved from such oddities. Opabinia's multi-eyed vision inspires 2025 robotics, with drones now using 360-degree cameras mimicking its design. Tiktaalik's fins-to-legs transition shows how life adapts, a lesson for climate change survival as 30% of species face extinction this century. Helicoprion's tooth whirl even inspires new cutting tech with 2,025 engineers designing saws based on its spiral. Imagine a world where 50% of today's animals vanish. These ancient freaks prove life can rebound, but only if we learn from them. Their strange adaptations are a survival blueprint. Let's wrap this up with a final thought. Here's a creepy twist. Fossils of Anomalocaris from China's Chengjiang site reveal two centimeter long bite marks on its own kind, suggesting these 50 eyed monsters sometimes turned cannibal, a desperate survival tactic when 70% of their prey vanished during ocean shifts. So, 541 million years ago, Earth was a freak show of bizarre creatures. From five-legged Opabinia to saw-mouthed Helicoprion, each stranger than the last, shaping life through their wild adaptations. 
Today, in June 2025, their fossils are more than museum pieces, they're survival guides, showing us how to adapt as 40% of species face extinction in our warming world. Will we learn from these ancient oddballs or become fossils ourselves in a future disaster? Maybe it's time to study the past before our own story gets too weird. If this tale of prehistoric freaks gripped you, smash that like button and subscribe for more epic dives into Earth's wild history.